the mascots, but it has fans, it has air vents for ventilation. <laughs> We're here in Fairfax Pomona today. We are joining the Asian American Expo. There's going to be a lot of vendors, a lot of food, and we'll see what's going on in there. Also, there's like anime stuff and Cowboy Bebop music playing. Cowboy Bebop music is like making me excited. I think Glenn belongs in the anime <laughs> side. <laughs> that was fun. Looks legit. What is this? Uh, incredible green bean noodle. Okay. But she said it's a little spicy and it, it's evident that it's quite the spice. So we Miss yeah. Yeah, we really like this YouTube channel called Miss Yeah. And she always makes these spicy stuff. And this is where this food is from, Changde Province. Takoyaki as usual. Chanel's favorite. I love it. Takoyaki. Good, but standard. Typical. Hot? Uh, it's a little. It's a little hot. I'm all scared. Yeah. It's really doughy. That's how you know it's a bad takoyaki. $15 though, what a premium item. I guess people are willing to pay for it. Suckers like myself. Yeah, because the closest one that we know of is in San Francisco. Okay, so we haven't had this since Portland. Yeah. That's like a year and a half maybe? Yeah, and then this place, they put a special like pre-made paste that looks green and avocado-y and then apply the egg. So it looks really legit. We'll have to see how it is. Yeah, normally it's just like egg. egg. Yeah, but then he yeah. literally put in like a green paste. I don't yeah. know what it contains. Anyway, here we go. So I'm not sure if this is really Indian. <laughs> Maybe it's another Chinese crepe. It doesn't taste like it. Well, it's a little different. Put in that crunchy stuff too. Yeah. And he didn't put in that like, uh, what is it, red bean paste or whatever? He did put in the bean paste. But oh. then this whole thing, I don't know. It tastes very different. Okay, well how is it? It's, it's okay. Good. It's okay. Yeah. Not like the... Not $15 worth. Jiangmi. Is that what the place is called? Maybe. Dang it! I really wanted this place to be awesome. I think it is the same. It tastes, yeah, the paste tastes similar. And I think that's just because it's a different vendor. But I think it's the same thing. And I think it's good. I don't know if it's just as good. Because I need to go back to Portland and try that one place. It might be called Jianmi. I forget. I approve. Oh, man. This is like more of an anime convention than I thought. Not too crowded, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least I thought so. It was like a lot of food there. Um, outdoor sure. is more like, I guess, food booths, and then um, 
the inside you get like a lot of businesses that let you sample the products, a lot yeah. of food stuff, stands. But they do like a real good job at encompassing all of the Asian American culture here in like the 66 area. Like some people don't even speak like English, so then this is like really legit. Like if you're trying to get a good feel of Asian community food yeah. places, this is it. Yeah. And then they have a lot of stuff. Sorry. They have a lot of stuff that you can buy, so like... Yeah, which isn't even a lot. We saw like yeah. ladies dragging bags because it's too much. They brought stroller bags to hang bags off of because yeah. it's way too much. Um, so there's like instant noodles, chips, and all these like stuff. Asian snacks and then, you know, bird's nests and stuff that you buy for your parents. Yeah. Yep, so I think overall um, $11, $11 to get in and then ranges from five to 15 bucks for food. Yeah, except the Jian Bing. Yeah, expensive. and then a dollar to seven dollars for like, you know, supermarket items. So I think it's a good thing. You can definitely see a lot of things, a lot of anime stuff. Not really that much anime stuff, a little. The convention or the expo was like small enough to go around the whole place for like, what time is it? Three hours. It took three hours to go around the whole place rather quickly. We didn't really like linger in one place. We got to see everything. Yeah, we probably would have stayed more, but we have to do some stuff today. Yeah. But would we really have stayed longer? I think so. I think we would have gone back to the like anime part or the tuner is. Oh, now you make me feel bad. No, well, I mean, we would just would have lingered there more. Maybe it's actually like. The worth of our money. Yeah, yeah, because then. They might actually have some merchandise there, which we might buy. But anywhere else is just kind of food. There was some Overwatch stuff. Okay, well, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.